So this collie came in, and as you can see, it's a collie pup, and it's got red raw rash around its eyes and on its muzzle, and even on its feet, or its legs, actually. And this kind of pattern of having hair loss and redness around those areas is really suggestive of mange. It's puppy mange. It's a mite that lives under the skin that the puppies get from their moms and some breeds just can't get rid of them. The way to tell in this little puppy, God, she screamed like heck. I'm, you'd be glad I don't put the audio on there. When I scraped her foot, then you take some of that skin and you put on some mineral oil on a slide and you look for those little critters that are crawling around underneath the skin and causing inflammation. So if you look at this slide, you can see hair, those big cylindrical things, and skin, that big glob of stuff, and other pieces of skin all the way around. That's just a big piece of skin. So when you come around the slide and look, you can see these little critters that look like cigars. or And you watch to see if they move. And if they're moved, they're live mites that are crawling around under the skin and causing that inflammation. Well, now that we've diagnosed it, we have to consider the patient, which is a herding dog. And there's a saying in veterinary medicine, in herding dogs, white feet don't treat. Uh, certain herding dogs can carry genes that can not allow them to use or use, allow us to use uh, certain chemicals on them and drugs. And it's called the MDR1 gene. And these herding dogs can't process certain drugs and pesticides that we use um, to treat things like Demodex. So this MDR1 gene uh, mutation impairs their ability to get rid of things or to use things like ivermectin. It can build up in their system and can cause neurologic problems. Well, that's how it kills the parasite. So it allows it to build up and also cause problems in them. Now this uh, ivermectin can't be used in herding dogs because of its sensitivity at those levels we need to kill the Demodex, but Brevecto can be, so we're going to try Brevecto and, and it usually can be used once every three months or even monthly to uh, treat the Demodex. So how do we know it's working? Well we would uh, scrape the skin like we did before and see if we see these moving live mites and if we do that means we either have to change the drug to an amitraz dip or one of the other drugs that don't affect collies and uh, or use the brevecto more frequently but that's the scoop on mange and herding dogs have a great day Oh, and I almost forgot, some dogs that uh, have food allergies uh, will let the mite come in and live in their systems. So it might be better to feed a dog a limited ingredient diet, like I talk about in my Dog Diet Answer book at dogdishdiet.com. So take a look um, and always consider feeding a dog a limited ingredient diet. No beef, no wheat, no chicken in some cases, and really avoid treats with all those ingredients. Now you can have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.